He who desires anything but God deceives himself, but he who loves anything but God errs miserably. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells the Jews that when he would be taken away from them, they would search for him but will not be able to find him, and so they will die in their sins. This is rather astonishing because the same Lord who said, Seek and you will find, is now saying, You will search for me but will not be able to find me and you will experience death. Certainly, our Lord is not contradicting himself. The purpose of his mission is very clear. I came so that they may have life and life to the fullest. As St. John beautifully said, God has given his only begotten Son so that those who believe in him may have eternal life. These Jews are not able to experience the fullness of God's life, not because they don't seek Him, but because they sought Him for the wrong reason. This applies to us Christians as much as to those Jews. We cannot experience the fullness of God's grace in our life if we seek Him for the wrong reasons. Those Jews sought Jesus to kill Him. Today, some seek Him as an obligation, a kind of social demand to fulfill while others seek Jesus for prosperity in life, for a comfortable life, a Jesus who would answer all their prayers and meet their demands. There are those who seek Jesus as a kind of spiritual guru, a kind of moral teacher who said smart things. But if you notice, none of these people are in fact searching for the person of Jesus, but only for the things that he can offer them. When we have these misplaced priorities, we fall short of the fullness of life Jesus offers. So then, if our Lord were to ask you, what do you want from me? What would you ask him? Once in a vision, St. Thomas Aquinas heard Jesus on the cross ask him the same question. Thomas, you have written so well of me. What do you want me to do for you? Being a mendicant friar, Aquinas would not ask for wealth or power for himself. But he could have asked for more wisdom and understanding, the grace to preach more thunderously from the pulpit, or simply for an increase in virtue. But Aquinas replied, Domine non nisite. That is, Lord, nothing except you. This, dear friends, is the key to unlock all the other graces. This prayer contains all the other prayers. When we seek the person of Jesus, all the other prayers are contained in it. As St. Paul writes in Colossians chapter 2, verse 3, In him, all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. Aquinas, the angelic doctor, became the greatest theologian of the Middle Ages because he sought in prayer, Domine non nisite. He sought nothing but Jesus. And all the other graces were added on to him. Dear friends, if we want to experience the fullness of life, which theologically we call the fullness of grace, then we have to pray, Domine non nisite, and all the other things in life will be added on to us. This is why St. Philip Neri beautifully said, He who desires anything but God deceives himself, and he who loves anything but God errs miserably. <laughs>